The first thing you feel when you walk toward the Aptera is a strange mix of disbelief and curiosity. It sits there like something borrowed from the future, a shape that doesn't seem to belong to any category we've seen on the road. And today, not only do we get to see it up close, we're going to drive it, explore its engineering roots, and hear directly from the people shaping its aerodynamic destiny. My name is John, and today is a special one. I'm stepping inside one of the most efficient solar electric vehicles ever engineered, speaking with the co-CEO and experiencing the machine that could redefine what we think a car should be. So let's dive in, because this story is far bigger than just a cool-looking EV. The moment I meet Chris, the co-CEO, there's genuine excitement in the air. This car has already caused a stir online, but seeing it in person hits completely differently. The curves, the proportions, the stance, everything screams efficiency, intention, purpose. Chris smiles as I walk around it, and the first hook drops immediately. Most people don't realize sedans and SUVs use over 60% of their energy just pushing air out of the way. It's a simple sentence, but it changes everything. You suddenly understand why the Aptera looks the way it does. This machine is not designed for trends, it's designed for physics. Chris explains that the entire Aptera project began with a brutal question. How do you build a vehicle that wastes almost nothing? Not less, almost nothing. Most vehicles fight the air. This one negotiates with it. Using advanced aerodynamic tools, including simulation systems and generative design models, the Aptera team refined the body to slice through air with minimal resistance. The result? A shape that uses just a fraction of the energy of any traditional EV while most efficient electric cars burn around 250 to 300 watt-hours per mile, the Aptera needs under 100. To put that in perspective, it's more than four times more efficient per mile than the average electric car. This efficiency opens the door to something remarkable. A smaller battery pack can take you farther than a huge one in a normal EV. The longest range configuration reaches roughly 1,000 miles, or about 1,600 kilometers, which is unheard of in today's market. And then there's the part that stops everyone in their tracks, solar charging. Under bright sunlight, the Aptera can literally fuel itself. You can gain around 30 to 40 miles of free daily range in the right conditions. For many people, that means you don't need to charge it at all for normal daily driving. The entire concept is simple but groundbreaking. Start with physics, optimize everything, and then build around that. We shift the conversation to the design evolution, and this part genuinely fascinates me. Originally, the team shaped the vehicle by hand, guessing, adjusting, refining, but eventually, they embraced generative design tools powered by AI. These systems analyze airflow and automatically suggest the most efficient shapes. That's when things got wild. The AI suggested sharpening the nose far beyond what looks practical. It pushed the roof line flatter to optimize solar panel placement. It reshaped the wheel pants, the highest drag zone, into smoother, less restrictive forms. It even demanded a longer, leaner tail. Of course, you can't sharpen the car into a spear or turn it into something people can't actually use. But many of the AI-driven changes made it through and produced measurable improvements. One surprising detail, the car grew in volume by about 1%, yet drag actually decreased by around 6%. More room, less resistance. That's the beauty of redesigning based on pure airflow behavior. Before driving, we open the door, and it instantly feels like stepping into an aircraft fuselage. The doors swing upward with a fluid, futuristic motion. Inside, the cabin feels airy and open, 
with a large center screen and a minimalist layout. What really stands out is the heads-up display showing digital side view feeds. Instead of traditional mirrors, you look through the steering wheel and see a wide, uninterrupted field of vision. It's intuitive and futuristic at the same time. Another unexpected detail is how spacious it feels. Earlier prototypes struggled with headroom for very tall passengers, but the generative design refinements dramatically increased interior space. Chris tells me people over 6 feet 8 inches now fit comfortably. That's impressive given the car's teardrop silhouette. The next revelation is almost shocking. Because the Aptera is so efficient, it doesn't need a massive battery pack to reach long distances. While traditional EVs require big, expensive battery packs to push a heavy body through the air, the Aptera's lightweight design and minimal drag mean even small packs go a long way. A typical EV with a 250-mile range might need a battery pack costing over $20,000. The Aptera can do the same distance with a pack costing around $5,000. This single advantage cascades into lower prices across the whole vehicle. The result? A futuristic, solar-powered EV can be priced under $26,000. It looks like a spaceship, but it's built to be accessible. Now comes the moment everyone waits for, the test drive. The instant the vehicle moves, it surprises me. Although it's a three-wheeler, it behaves like a four-wheeler, stable, planted, confident. There's no wobble, no hesitation. The road feel is solid. When I accelerate, the smoothness and quietness make it almost surreal. The car whispers forward, and the steady hum of the motors enhances the spaceship-like vibe. Even in quick turns, the handling stays tight and controlled. Chris mentions this version is a pre-production prototype, yet it already drives like something polished. And here's a twist few expect. The Aptera launches with all-wheel drive, with front-wheel drive options later. That makes it not just efficient, but also quick and capable. Despite being classified as an auto cycle in the US, it behaves like a refined sports EV. And that classification brings perks, HOV lane access without stickers, and cheaper registration and insurance. As we drive, the sunlight continues topping up the solar array. Even at late afternoon levels, we're still generating a few miles of free range. On a bright day, the Aptera can easily collect enough solar power to cover an entire daily commute. The cabin is comfortable, the space is generous, and the driving experience is unlike anything else, familiar yet futuristic. We talk about the Aptera community, passionate, loyal, and incredibly excited. People stop the car on the road, wave, shout, take photos. Early adopters are going to experience something special, driving a vehicle that turns heads everywhere. It's rare to see engineering decisions that prioritize aerodynamic supremacy above all else. Yet here, form and function merge into something elegant. The Aptera looks the way it does because physics demands it, and as a result, it stands apart from every car on the road. As the test drive ends, the impressions are clear. This isn't just a prototype. It's a glimpse into an entirely different category of electric mobility. It's solar-powered, ultra-light, astonishingly efficient, and intelligently engineered. Walking through the factory only reinforces that feeling. Seeing the battery pack displays, interior and exterior components, and future production setups shows that this isn't a concept anymore. It's becoming real, piece by piece. The Aptera feels solid, thoughtfully designed, and surprisingly comfortable. If the prototype drives this well, the final production version could be a breakthrough for daily drivers everywhere. There's still more to come. Final testing, real-world crash validation, and refinement. But what's already here is impressive, very impressive. And if this is the beginning, 
the future of solar-powered mobility is going to be fascinating to watch.